We're getting weird in the studio today. I'm Slu, if you're new to the channel, I love to paint, do creative projects, and on this channel I've done quite a few self-portraits, predominantly paintings. I try to do one at least once a month, it should be way more than that. But I love painting myself, it's a cool way to document yourself, see different angles, use different mediums, palettes, colors, whatever. I haven't done really a drawn self-portrait like ever. I've done one when I was in Italy, when I was studying painting, I did one self-portrait, it was great, and I turned that into a painting. But I haven't done just a full-blown pencil sketch self-portrait and spent some nice old time on it. So that's what we're doing today. And look at all these delicious materials we got. Different pencils, different charcoals, different erasers, accoutrements to help the drawing process, to aid you in that whole endeavor. But you don't need all this. You know, you see different artists, different professionals with all these materials materials and utilities. All you really need is a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to take you over here because what we're going to be using for this whole drawing is just a standard Ticonderoga. Uh, I mean, this is some something different than a Ticonderoga, but this is its just a standard school pencil. That's how I like to use it. And I'm not giving myself a challenge. I'm really just restricting myself to use only this pencil for the whole drawing, this eraser. If I kill the eraser, I'll use a different standard eraser. We just got a pencil sharpener, but we're just gonna be using this sexy little boy. What we'll be drawing on is this watercolor paper. This is Cranston. It's nicer, thicker paper. You don't need it. It's a little overkill. I had it lying around. It's 140 pound cold pressed. It's beautiful and thick. It's got some nice, cool teeth. It says watercolor, but it's really anything for multimedia. I want this to last a while. I think we're gonna cut it down to a smaller size. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. And then we're gonna begin, but we also have to take a selfie. Do I want my hat on? I need a haircut. I think I got it. This is low key embarrassing, but I look angelic and handsome, so there's not much to complain about. All I really wanted was dark and light, you know, to delineate those beautiful shapes of the shadows and the form within the highlights you know, paint whatever you want. This isn't a tutorial about how to paint a selfie. I just wanted one with my hat off. Boom, here we go. We're starting out and it's, this is the first 20, 30 minutes, really simply roughly finding the proportions and how you do that is measuring and comparing the shapes and distances between the features, how far the nose is from the eyes, where the corner of the lips match up with the eyes using plumb lines. These are really basic strategies that I can't really go into in such a short amount of time. But actually you can see the hair on one side there, I erase it and move it to the other. So I actually flipped the whole image like a mirror flip because I wanted a, a different kind of orientation and I'm glad I did that. But yeah, this is just basically finding the features, not really solidifying them, but just really um, you know, coarsely going over um, the major features and making sure that it's it's mediumly in the right place. And you can see I'm just smudging some stuff, getting things, you know, smudged around, getting messy. It's not a huge deal. I'm just looking for the basic features. So I'm feeling good about this portrait so far. Like I said, I flipped the original photo. I like how it looks. I like the framing in the piece of paper, the size of the head. I might trim the page a little more. Um, but yeah, it didn't take me too long to find the features. You know, it wasn't too challenging. And if you want to learn strategies of portrait painting or any other creative endeavors, Skillshare actually is the perfect resource. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of different classes ranging from photography, illustration, design, and are taught by the leading professionals in those disciplines. And at less than $10 a month, these amazing professional classes are extremely affordable, especially if you want to switch up your routine at home. And you know, whether you're trying to start a career in illustration or photography and film, or you just want to, you know, maintain and pursue a hobby during these crazy times of quarantine, Skillshare has classes built for every type of person. And a class that pertains to what we're talking about in this exact video and what I would recommend is Techniques for Pencil Portraits. It's a great class to kind of attack everything to do with the portraits and learn new techniques. Skillshare's platform, their classes, their teachers, it's all of the highest quality and it's such an epic resource for people, especially in this day and age, in this climate at home, you wanna learn new crea creative endeavors. You know, it's something that even if they weren't sponsoring me, I would recommend to the people people watching my videos. And so the first 1,000 people who click the link in the description get a two month free trial of Skillshare. It's such an epic opportunity. It's such an epic resource. I highly recommend it. Don't let this opportunity go to waste. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring the video. We're gonna continue attacking this bad boy, but we're gonna do something wacky first. And working with pencil and charcoal and kind of with white paper, the white is the highest value you're gonna get. Just the blank, normal white. So I wanna, 
get a rid of all of that because only a little parts of the highlights on the face are gonna be this actual white. So I'm gonna scrape off with this X-Acto blade some of this pencil lead into powder, rub it all in, and then we'll continue making things darker and erase things that need to be lighter. go we're really diving in i'm starting on the dark side and i'm taking my time this is a small portrait so it gets filled in fast but you can see that i'm not you know that part in the corner of the hair that's the darkest part almost black but you can see that i'm not forcing the pencil really hard to make it dark immediately you know this is hb lead it's really in the middle of hard and soft lead um and i'm not you know putting a lot of pressure down to get it super dark because that creates reflections and it's all of it's all of a matter of just slow gradations getting darker filling in you know the shadows the shapes of the shadows and then slowly making things darker making things lighter it's a little game of patience a little here a little there um and we're just moving moving from feature to feature and i have a pretty good plan because the portrait i took on purpose had these nice little shadow shapes you know that cheek shadow area also the nose and the crease of you know the eye those are all kind of the the main shadow shape dark parts so i'm just trying to make sure that it's uh pretty on point with what it looks like relative to the features as well but just no rush because when you rush it it's less clean and um it's just easier to make mistakes and you know lose the the tonal value the whole value of the whole picture um and and I am smudging, it's going fast, you can't see, but you know, like I said before, I wanna get rid of all the white. So later on, we're gonna start erasing on the on the highlight side to, to, to bring back that light. But right now, it's, it's just additive. I'm just adding darkness um, because it's only, you know, a, a, a normal pencil. There's no other colors, there's no white I'm adding. I'm only adding darkness. And uh, already it's looking fine, you know, it's funny, I don't look at myself much without a hat on or usually in a bun, so with my hair down I feel like I sometimes look like a girl. Also the eyes, per usual, are a little wonky, um, they're not, you know, the best eyes ever and it's just my MO, I really struggle with eyes, I don't think they're terrible, but yeah, so this isn't a super long portrait, it's not my finest work, but it's it, it came out successful and I had a good time doing it. Um, the shirt was very minimal effort you know i wasn't really focused on the shirt it's mostly the face um and i still still am adding i haven't subtracted i haven't erased anything yet but that is coming right now i had to switch pencils because the other eraser was kind of used up and this is where you can see it coming together and that's the point of smudging um to get rid of the white so then when i want to i can bring that white back for the places i need it um and yeah, this was a low stress drawing. I was really happy with it um, because it was low stress and it was just a fun time. I was listening to some Tiger Belly and Andrew Santino podcast, which I absolutely love. Those are comedians I really like and just fumbling about, having fun. It wasn't, you know, like I said, super challenging, but just good to sit down for those three hours. I'm always happy when I do that. Um, and yeah, it's one of those things we could keep working on more and more and but just using this simple pencil, it was it was just it was just fun. Um, I recommend it. Um, I'm gonna start doing art prompts on my Patreon page, so check that out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this little time lapse. Let's talk about it. Boom! We're all finished. And I'm gonna spray it with some fixative. This is just. Let's actually move over here because I don't want to spray in this main room, but, oh. This is just classic fixative, and what fixative is, it's just, it's you spray charcoal and stuff like that so it doesn't smudge in the future. It just like seals all the, um, the lead and charcoal. So I'm finished, I'm not gonna touch it again, we're done, so I'm gonna seal it. And that's it. And it dries super quick, and now it won't smudge, and it'll be safer than it was before. I'm super happy with it, let's talk about it. We're done. I wanted to thank all my patrons over on the Patreon channel. You know, I was posting behind the scenes 
We're doing cool different polls. There's a private Discord channel where we're posting artwork, doing art critiques. If you're into that, go check it out. But yeah, this wasn't some crazy ambitious drawing. This was like three hours listening to a couple podcasts. Had a great time. I'm always happy when I finish these portraits um, and just sitting down and drawing whatever it may be. I paint way more than I draw. I should draw more. And when I do usually draw, I actually use I like to use toned paper and a white pencil for the highlights and all the lights. I was happy I switched it up here, just adding darkness, you know, similar to watercolor. I'm only adding darker portions and what I'm drawing on is the lightest. So we were subtracting what I drew to get lighter, but I wasn't adding things to get lighter, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I'm pumped. It's beautiful in the studio. We're having a good time. Bunch of crazy projects lined up. See you in the next video.